when a technology becomes personal, when a technology becomes desktop, it doesn't just get cheaper, smaller, better, more ubiquitous. What happens is that it gets used in different ways. So it's really exciting to me about the era, the, the moment here of desktop manufacturing is not just the tools, it's what people will do with them. And what I can't wait to see is when you put 3D printers in every school, the kids are going to do things we can't imagine. They, they're good at this stuff, right? They understand geometries and, and designing on screen. They play video games. It's the same thing. Polygons are their native language. They have ideas we can only imagine. And now they're empowered to not only put them on the screen, but then print them out. And if they're cool, print them out in more numbers, manufacture, become entrepreneurs, and compete with the existing industrial structure of manufacturing to do something entirely new. Right now, our 3D printers are one color, and they're relatively slow and they're relatively low resolution. They're dot matrix printers, if you will. But, you know, you don't have to cast your mind forward that far before you start to bring in other materials. Maybe you can add electronics into this, and so you can integrate electronics into an object. And now you're starting to get that kind of Star Trek fantasy, where you basically ask for something, you know, T, Earl Grey, whatever. It finds the files, the necessary, you know, uh, instructions to the computer online somewhere. It mixes together some raw materials to create, you know, the right compound. It produces it quickly of the right resolution. And you have something that, you know, in the past would have been mass manufactured and, and one size fits all. And now it's just in time manufactured, perfect for you. We've had CNC machines and laser cutters and other, other sort of industrial tools, but they weren't desktop and they weren't personal, and they weren't easy to use, and they weren't cheap. And that's the change. If it's easy to use, then it gets out of the way. And then it becomes a vector for ideas to turn to things, turn into companies, and turn into movements. And that moment, that Macintosh moment, is right now.